let's look at this third problem. An object has a mass of 8 kilograms. The coefficient of static friction is 0.25. So we have 8 kilograms. And notice I'm going to uh, write it down. I have a diagram always. They've given me the coefficient of static friction. They want to know the friction when the force is 12 newtons pushing, or pu uh, and then 15 newtons, and then what happens if it's 20 newtons. So what we need to do before we can do anything is actually calculate the static friction. They've given us all the information to find it. So your first step would be, well, let's find it. We can find it. And so the coefficient of static friction is 0.25. The mass is 8, and that's easy. I'll just write that down, 8 kilograms. And of course, uh, g is 9.8 meters per second squared. And so I'll write that down too. I get the calculator out. I calculate that very quickly. And I find that the static friction is 19.6 newtons. Now, this is very important. That's what the, the available static friction is. Now the question is, what happens if I push with 12 newtons? Well, the friction is not going to be 19.6. Imagine pushing with 12 and all of a sudden this block comes flying towards you because the friction is bigger than your push. No, friction will uh, increase as you push. There's 19.6 available, and that's the threshold. So if I push with 12 newtons, the friction will match me with 12 newtons, but it won't move. Well, we know that the friction is 19.6. That's the available. That's the threshold. So now they ask, what happens if I push with a force of 15 newtons? Well, once again, I've calculated this uh, friction, the static friction. The available is 19.6. If I push with 15 newtons, the maximum I can go to is 19.6. The friction will match me now with the 15 I'm pushing with. And so that's what happens. I push with 15. The friction will match me with 15. Well, now what happens if I push with 20 newtons? Let's look at this carefully. The available, I'm pushing with 20 newtons, but the available is 19.6. That's the available friction. That means what happens is my push force is greater than my friction. And what I now have is an unbalanced force. And you now have at the tip of your tongue, an unbalanced force means acceleration. The unbalanced force, it will accelerate. The greater force is 20, the smaller is 19.6, it will accelerate.